This weekend, a renewed push to end gun violence, and a local organization is sharing that message in a different way. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright tells us about the event and how many of the people there had their lives changed after losing a loved one in a shooting. Sunday was the second annual Gun Violence Awareness Fashion Show. It's an event dedicated to honoring those who have lost loved ones to gun violence. So far this year, there have been 68 homicides in Baltimore City. According to the Baltimore City Police Department, homicides are down 42 percent and shootings are down 29 percent. Despite the decrease in the numbers, many people are still advocating to stop gun violence. Donna Bruce is one of those people. Her organization, Donna Bruce Unlimited, held its second annual fashion show to help families who have experienced gun violence cope. People like Angela Royster. We don't want to put clothes on anymore. We don't want to do anything because it feels like we're moving off our life without our children and it's like a sense of guilt. Royster said she's glad there is an event like this where people can be around others who have experienced the same loss. It's very, very hard to get out and like celebrate. Like I brought another mom with me, um, a couple of moms with me, and one that her um, loss was just recently. So it was kind of hard to get her to come out, but last minute she's like, okay, I'm gonna come out. The event also had a panel where people shared their experiences. Dante Campbell was one of the panelists. He said he has recently lost many family members to gun violence. We're all here for a common goal. And that's to save people from going through the pain of gun violence. He says the fashion show has allowed many people to connect over a common goal and uplift each other. The more that we be hands on with these kids and the youth and the adults as well, then they'll start to believe and they'll be able to reach back. And now everybody is just unified and spreading love. We know that we can't save everybody, but for the mass majority, we can start by showing love and giving back. Unique Palmer, who lost her mother eight years ago, says it's still very painful for her to think about it. She says it's been easier knowing she's not going through the grief alone. She says relating to others can be a powerful tool. I don't know where I would be today without those people, you know, in my corner and having these kind of spaces just to come and speak of their experiences in a loving and caring environment. The fashion show gives the models and the attendees confidence, showing them the trauma they went through will not keep them down. It's one of the many workshops the organization holds throughout the year that helps people heal invisible wounds. The next major event is the Grief and Elegance Fashion Show honoring bereaved mothers. Janae Wright, WMAR, 2 News.